Hello, this is Coy McBob, and I wanted to showcase a new website that I made that can edit images. So off the bat, I'd like to begin with some positives of using this online tool. And one is that you can easily save an image as a PNG slash a JPG file using the default uh, saving method. So as you can see, I quickly saved this image in the beginning. Now I'm using an effect that I call a tint, and I can, as you can see, I can immediately save the image again. A second advantage is that you can actually add up images online, off of online quickly. So I just got the link, I copy pasted it, and I, it immediately gets shown. Now to those of you who know coding, I think this has an obvious advantage in that you can see all the code online and you can edit it and you can add functions, change functions and just play with it and come up with new effects and modify old effects. Now the last big positive about this is that I actually made a Google Doc that you can view that shows all the effects and how to use each one of them. Now the list isn't that long but I found that it's quite sufficient and almost anything you would want to do. Okay, let me now come to the negatives. Now this all being done online, it does lose some uh, speed efficiency. So now that I gave it some intense effect to do, you'll see that it did take a couple of seconds until it made the effect, which it did do on then. The second negative would be that the lit command list is a bit lacking, but then again, if you know how to code, you can easily fix this, fix this and add on any command that you want, which you wouldn't be able to do in a typical image editing uh, device. Now the last and final negative, and I think the biggest one, is that the images that this uses needs to have a specific heading, and I use an extension to automatically give all images this heading, but without this extension, you won't be able to use absolutely any image you would like. Now, as you can see, if I open this up in Cognito without my extension, it won't be able to load this image. But this can be avoided by using the extension, which I'll include to a link to down below. And you can also just use specific images. Now, to you website savvy people, you'd be able to see on the console the message that it's giving.